we can go ahead and go through the setup on what this coffee bar looks like so first and foremost this coffee bar was actually purchased at a thrift store my mom found it it was fifty dollars and so it actually came in this cream color and then her and i went in and painted it this light pink color i don't know the color color of the paint because my sister was the one that actually got this paint at lowe's it was oops paint so there's not necessarily a particular color on it but this is what the setup looks like a good bit of these items came from either amazon the dollar store target and a couple of thrift stores so here we are okay so starting off with the top row these pink vases i actually ended up getting from the target bullseye i don't remember when but th that is where those came from um, i think you can use them for flowers i went ahead and used them for these straws that i have the straws came from pop shelf so if you have a pop shelf near you um, it's like a five below but better um, they have more home good items so definitely check them out this container came from Bed Bath & Beyond. That has barley tea in it. So this is really like a coffee and tea setup, but I use it for both. These two books um, are poetry books. They have been around for years. I just went ahead and had them in my office. So I moved them out to this coffee bar area. I like the words, I like how minimal it is. So I went ahead and added it for a small touch. And then the two items at the top, are going to be these candles these coffee candles super popular tj maxx home goods sells them i want to say marshall's might even have them but they're really popular i like the brown but i really got this because cafe mochas and ice mochas are my favorite type of coffee so i wanted to incorporate that into this setup and, and this right here okay and then this right here my sister actually ended up getting this for me i'm not sure where she got it from but i could really use it for coffee creamer hazelnut chocolate milk uh chocolate milk whatever it these also came from the target bullseye i don't remember when i want to say do not quote me but it was probably like fall of 2020 but anytime i buy cold brew from the grocery store then i go ahead and transfer them over to here so that's where i store those and then when they're not being used of course i just leave them here as part of a display so those are really great um they actually do hold a lot so if you can find them, definitely get your hands on them. And then the two containers in the back also came from the Target Bullseye. Those just have extra K-cups. Into the second shelf, these are pretty much all the items that go into coffee. And then just this shelf is a little bit smaller, so I could only fit certain things. But these containers, I'm pretty sure you can find them on Amazon. I don't remember where I got these from, but I've had them for a while. This just has coconut sugar in it right here. The one to the right has cocoa powder. The back has cacao nibs when I make acai bowls. And then the one to the right doesn't have anything in it at the moment, but definitely plan to add some things to that. So these are just what I can put like powder items into. And um, they work really well, especially because they came with the scooper. And then the things in the back is instant coffee. I typically don't drink a lot of instant coffee, but in the event that I need a, a quick fix, I do have it. And then that container um, came from Amazon in the back next to the instant coffee. The scooper, I don't remember where I got that scooper from in the inside of it, but that is just regular dark roast coffee for like the bigger coffee machine. And then these two containers right here have powder cream as well as sugar. My family does drink powder cream i know very unpopular opinion a lot of people don't drink powder cream but um it actually is not that bad so that's what those are and then that also came with scoops this particular item a funny story behind this um frank body actually has it is a firming cream um for your like legs and glute area and so i went ahead and actually used it and then washed it out and used it as a display i just couldn't throw it out but also too i think it's meant to be a coffee cup but i just use it as display and then i decided to get one more of these coffee candles i love the color yellow and i don't have a lot of yellow in the house and so i wanted to go ahead and incorporate that the risers that you see it came from amazon sorry it cut out um the riser that i'm actually pointing to came from target bullseye that mug came from target one of my really good friends ended up getting that for me but i'm not sure if they still have it but i do know it came from target and then that clear thing with the scoop is pretty much what you use to brew coffee so you just put a coffee filter put the coffee in, put hot water so that's what the kettle is used for that's usually for like single serving um coffees and then down here 
is where I guess you would say your syrups and like powders would go. So these Tarani syrups were actually from the holiday collection last year. I haven't even opened them just yet, but these I got at World Market. And then the items that you see in the back are the shakers and then honey for tea. Like I said, this is a coffee and tea bar, but mostly a coffee bar. And then the powdered shaker things that, are, that I'm lifting right here. Um, these came from Target Bullseye as well when they had like their whole coffee bar set up. I have yet to label them or even put anything in there, but I probably should add cinnamon to it because I do love cinnamon and coffee. So I just need to add more things into that. So like vanilla powder, things like that. This particular thing, my mom actually ended up getting at a thrift store. It's actually meant for sugar, but I went ahead and put these spoons in here. These spoons actually came from Amazon. I bought them because I like the fact that you can actually stick them on the coffee mug. Um, so when you stir your coffee, you could just stick it and have it kind of hang out. I don't know what it is, but sometimes like getting rid of your spoon when you're making hot coffee is like the hardest thing. So those are really um, cool to have. They come in clutch for sure. And then down here is the actual like, coffee area where I brew coffee. This is a really old Keurig machine. Honestly, if it's not broken, don't fix it. I don't actually even drink K cups um, or the Keurig like that. So I really just have it here this way. Who knows, maybe I'll get, end up getting another one in the future. But for now, it serves its purpose um, when I do have K cups here and there. But like I said, I don't eat it, drink it often. So it's really not an issue. These mugs right here, my mom ended up getting them for me. I just like the illustration and the fact that it has the type of coffee on it. So they're just cute and I really just have them um, to sit there, part of the display. So I don't always drink out of these mugs. I do have tons of mugs. So when I do plan to drink coffee, I usually just bring in, like for example, the beginning of this clip or the beginning of this video, you saw the clear mug. So I'll just move that and then put the other one in. This particular um, small set that I'm pointing to right here, the small items, those are for coffee creamers. That I ended up getting at a like discounted slash thrift store. They were new, but um, they were just really cute and I figured why not get them. Then once again, those straws came from Pop Shelf. So I got angle ones and then the straight one. And then this right here is another riser from Amazon. The bamboo one is from Target Bull's Eye. Just wanted to add that as a natural element. Um, as part of not only the coffee setup, but that's just one of the themes in my house. And then this I got on Amazon. So I use it for tea. Um, and if you want to make any type of like ramen noodles, you could also use that. You don't want to utilize the stove. So that actually, and it turns off by itself. So that's really good. These items back here came from Target Bullseye. This right here is a coffee scooper. And then the cool thing about it is it has a clip. So you can also put it on your coffee bag after you're done. Um, brewing coffee or scooping coffee to brew and then this right here is for tea so those um, target bullseye that's fairly new so I'm not sure if some of the target locations still have them but I don't um, know you probably have to check it out and then these items right here are actually salt and pepper shaker these also came from the target bullseye funny story about this is there was literally only one left it was at the bottom of a pile I don't know if somebody returned it and then brought it back but I went ahead and scooped these up because they're cute. I love donuts, I love coffee, and then I just wanted to go ahead and add that candle back there. And so that was just like a cute little touch to it. And then this drawer right here is where I house all of the tea, the K-cups, and then the Nespresso pods. And so there's a lot of fruit flavored teas, um, dessert teas in here. Uh, I ended up getting this particular uh, container to separate the items from Amazon. So I think it was like a craft kit, but you could use it. I literally repurposed it for tea bags. So definitely would recommend these. And then I also have these K-Cups right here. The blue one and then the cream one, the Good and Gather brand came from Target. I wouldn't recommend that blue one. It has a really weird aftertaste, but I'm really just trying to finish it. The cinnamon vanilla one is really good, so I would definitely recommend this. And then the Organic Extra Bold Coffee, that red one, came from uh, Aldi. So if you like really strong coffee, highly recommend. If you don't, highly don't recommend. Um, you have to put a lot of creamer. And then this is lemon ginger tea that I just didn't have any room in the container as you can see, but this is really good with some honey. Great for your digestive health. So I would recommend one of my friends put me onto that. And then here are the Nespresso pods that I have. Um, I really just ordered like three, the three pack off of Amazon. I probably am gonna go ahead and end up changing 
it out to the dessert blends. I think it's like caramel crunch or caramel cookie, something like that. Once I go through these, and then this right here is um, the light for the LED strip. The LED strip I did get from Target. Um, I do like it because down in this particular area where you brew the coffee, where the machines are at, it's a little bit dark. And so having that light actually helps when you have to replace the water um, in the back of the Nespresso pods. And then this light up here actually came with the um, shelf. So that was the only thing that I ended up quote unquote installing is that LED light. So these, um, this is where I store everything. That's just what works for now. And then down here in the cabinet part, there's just kind of, um, there's not really a system here. This is just where I kind of hide things because I don't necessarily have a system set up for it just yet. But this area is where I have things that I have not put into other containers. So in this container, I just have a few miscellaneous things. This right here is a raspberry Nespresso that I unfortunately cannot use because it doesn't fit in the Nespresso machine that I have But what I'll do is take out the grounds and see if I can repurpose it And then this right here is peppermint mocha peppermint mocha is my favorite holiday drink from Starbucks Dunkin really wherever And then the next thing is this Earl Grey cream tea uh, it's so good if you put some vanilla syrup in it typically um, I know some people don't prefer black tea or prefer green tea over black tea, but this is really good. And then these right here are just some Tarani syrups that I have, dark chocolate and caramel. I did hear that this one is better than the other brand. Um, so you can get this at your local grocery store. I think I got this at Walmart. These gold clips I ended up getting at Target Bullseye the same time that I got that coffee scooper and the tea strainer. Um, so you probably could still find this. This was a fairly recent find. So um, definitely check your local Target to see if they still have it in the bullseye section, but you can use it for any coffee bags or just anything that you have that you are needing to resale. And then that back there is a Starbucks, another Nespresso pod. I really think I only got that because Bed Bath & Beyond had a sale on it um, and it was pretty cheap. So, you know, Nespresso pods can get very expensive. And then this right here is just caramel syrup that I plan to use with the thicker caramel syrup for caramel macchiato. I haven't opened that just yet. So this my sister actually put me on to, it is cold brew. So what happens is there's coffee grounds in this. The number represents how strong the coffee will be. It does work in hot or iced coffee. I have yet to open it. This is definitely something else that I'm gonna try. I really just got it cause like look how cute it is. So this is definitely something I'll have to keep you all posted on. And then these right here, just sauce bottles that I was gonna repurpose for syrup. You can find these on Amazon. Um, I don't remember where I got these from in particular. They literally have been sitting here for a little while. I was supposed to put toffee nut syrup in that and clearly something happened or I forgot. So definitely um, check that out on Amazon to repurpose or repackage all of your syrup. Here is just overflow. I don't typically collect Starbucks tumblers. These I just have because my nail tech was able to get that for me. That mug with a D by Nail Tech got for me. And then the other ones are just overflow miscellaneous mugs that I have. But yes, this is the final product from top to bottom. I'm pretty sure at some point I might be changing some things out, but for the most part, everything serves a purpose. And it works for now. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned.